How's it going, everyone? I'm Nostalgic Dave, and welcome back to Six Days of Sacrifice. Got my guide right next to me here. Um, let's see how far we can make it. I'm gonna try to get through the day, uh, but we'll see. Uh, I'm gonna try to do this without the guide at first. Wait, didn't you just... Who are you? Could you tell me where I am? You're, you're dead. I saw you die. Dead? Yes, I remember being dead. But I don't remember you. Your, your guts were torn out. The blood's still on the floor. Honestly? Huh. Perhaps it's best that I don't remember. So, where am I? This is impossible. Are you going to answer my questions anytime soon? <laughs> okay. Uh, let's just talk, then. Let's, let's just have a calming conversation here. Um, who are you? My name is Trilby. That much I know. Even that sole fact isn't sufficient, though. I get the feeling I have or had other names in the past. Trilby the Cat Burglar? Cat Burglar? Yes, that was one of my names. You can't possibly be Trilby. Nevertheless, I'm certain that Trilby is my name. But Trilby died hundreds of years ago. And I already told you. I remember that I was dead. So your statement only further reinforces my claim. This doesn't make any sense. And yet here we are. Okay, that's fair. How am I keeping up with this dialogue? I've been really bad at that in the past. How did you come back to life? I don't know yet. You do know that resurrection is completely impossible, right? I thought I knew it. Recent events are forcing me to reassess this, however. All I know is that I was dead, and now I am alive again. Refusing to believe this will not answer my questions. You don't remember working for the Order? Order? The Order of Blessed Agonies. Agonies? I remember something. I get a name. John Defoe. He's important in some ways. In fact, I think I spent many years researching him. I've never heard that name before. You don't remember why you were working for the Order? I'm afraid not. So what do you remember? Not much. A few flashes now and then. Images and sounds. No dates or details attached. I remember John Defoe, as I said. And from that name a few other memories return. Standing on a hill, watching something burning in the distance. Okay, five days a stranger and scene. Wait, why isn't it moving? Okay, there we go. My hands covered in blood. End of Shelby's notes. And then a place that was two places at once. The beginning of this game. I'm lying on something hard. My stomach really hurts and someone is talking to me. Shelby's notes. But it's mostly a fog up until... Something. So you woke up here? Well, not right here. I just felt myself gravitate to this spot. Like something important happened here. Yes, this is where you were killed. So you said, yes. I suppose that would explain it. I guess. Maybe you should have a look around where you woke up. What was your name again? Dekabe. Theodore Dekabe. You've been a great help, Mr. Dekabe. Excuse me, won't you? Okay. Bye. And I'm alone again. Okay. I really don't like the outward silence. Okay. 
Yeah, let's just move from left to right. We'll check everything, talk to everyone. I want to make sure I don't skip anything, but I also want to try to do it without... I have my guide just in case, but can I go in here? The door won't open. Janine must have locked herself in. Uh, Janine, are you okay? What the hell? Says here Samantha's phone is still switched on. Okay. I'm almost certain we turned it off before... Oh. Who should I call? Well, let's check on Janine first. What? Where are you? I'm in the sleeping quarters. And don't tell me to come out. I don't understand anything that's happening. I don't even remember how I got here. Are you alright? Yes. No. No, I'm not alright. Sam is dead. I know, but... Sam is dead and I think I'm going mad. Why do you say that? I remember Sam dying. I remember taking her to the medical bay. But then everything goes blank. I'm scared. Something happened to you last night. You were there? What, would I, what did I do? You were acting odd, like you were someone else. And you were talking to me like I was someone else. Oh God, I remember. I remember talking to you. But it wasn't me. It was like looking through the eye holes of a mask. And I knew that, I, that the thing I was. It makes me feel so sick. Um, do I want to know the thing that you was? Please come out to the sleeping quarters. No, I don't want to. Please, Janine. There's something out there. It's going to kill us both. You'll never escape from the complex. I don't care. I'd rather starve in here than die like Sam did. Why can't you leave me alone? Um... I'm just gonna go down the line. I need you to open the hub again. That's your strategy? It's our only way out. The reason behind this whole mess. It's in the hub. I can feel it. It's like I'm being drawn to it. Sam was murdered when she went in there. I know. All the more reason to see what's important enough to kill for. You're insane. And you're on your own. What if I found out for certain what's inside the hub? Would you help me get inside? If it was safe. It'd have to be really, really safe. Like a petting zoo or equivalent. And you'd still be going in on your own. Fine. Okay. Do you notice any changes in the main corridor? No, I don't. Honestly? Yes. You don't see it transforming, becoming some kind of dungeon, brick walls, blood everywhere, dirt floor. What are you talking about? Isn't it always like that? How long have you been down here? Are you coming out? No. That's that. All right, fine. Talk to you later. Now, to pique my curiosity... Who should I call? Samantha's phone. C. D. Who is this? Uh, two. Sev. Or. One. Wait, is that supposed to be seven four? Two seven four one. What? I can't. They hung up. <laughs> okay, two seven four one. I have a feel like that's going to be important. Um. I'm pulling up my notes on my phone and just putting that down. Two, seven, four, one. Okay. Okay, next, let's try to see what's in here. Oh, wait, is this the holding cell? Yeah, it is. So this must be where... Hi. Hi, canning. Back again. Dr. Hottie is dead. Reap ye, reap what ye sow. 
Doesn't that bother you in the slightest? You and your whole w insane order are accessories for murder. Once we get your, you out, you're going to do time. Your words are like wobbles of a sparrow. The order of the Blessed Agonies feels no mortal agency. We are under divine protection. I've only used your voice once and I actually am using that because I don't remember what I actually gave you. <laughs> I don't think I ever gave it much thought either, so. What do you mean, protection? We are under the guiding hand of God. Oh, she's the king. She's it. And when he enters the world. I don't even know why I'm talking to you. You're just a brainwashed lunatic. Your words are sounding hollow even to you, are they not? Tell me what Dr. Hottie was doing here. You mean you still haven't figured it out? It'd be, I'd be disappointed if I felt even a shred of respect for you. Just tell me. We were allowing her to fulfill her chosen role. In this case, the field of biochemistry. Who can ask for anything more? Okay, that's fair. I'm prepared to negotiate your release. How utterly tiresome. Just answer my questions without deviating from the subject. Without personal attacks or evasion of dogma. Or dogma. I wonder what ev Keep reading if you want. I wonder what evasion of, of dogma would be like. You are just a wretched man. Well, screw you too. You could barely stand on your own legs. I have the ear of the king. Shit, whoa. That is a lot of questions. All right, what is in the hub? Very little, very little of anything corporeal in any way. What does that mean? It means the most standard scientific tests would indicate that the hub is largely empty. And what is in there has absolutely no purpose. But we, the followers of the true way, know different. This isn't helping at all. I didn't intend it to. Okay, F you. What is the purpose of the facility? Now, you know I'm not going to answer that. No, and I know why. It's because you don't know, do you? You're just as much a patsy in this as we are. Now you're just wasting breath. So why have the Order abandoned you down here? My brethren have given me the responsibility as a gesture of recognition and respect. Something you, of course, would know nothing about. Ugh, shut up. Why is the main corridor changing? In what way is it changing? You know, it's turning into some kind of dungeon, I suppose. Filthy walls and floor, blood splatters everywhere. Now how could I know that? I've been stuck in here this whole time. So you say it changes before your very eyes? Are you hearing voices too? Forget it. This isn't the sixth sense, why would you say that? Your god seems to be alive. So, you think he rose from the grave? I don't know what to think. Thinking is something you need to do more of, boy. He doesn't remember working for you. Of course not. He's never... Wait, what? Were I not trapped in here, I would have been able to give him his usual instructions. How many times have you had to do that? Your questions bore me. Come back if you ever figure anything out. Shut up now. Uh... Okay, well, that was a fun trip. Come back if you figure anything out. Okay, well, the only other place I know where the someone is, is... Well, is he in the medical bay? Where is Trilly? Nope, and I know he's not going to be... Well, is he in there? Did he go back? I have no idea. That bugs me. Uh, nope, okay, he's still gone. Where is he? Where the fuck? Well, I need to figure out two things. Where's Trilly? 287. What? 
Okay. I don't know why, but sure. Okay, curiosity piques my interest. What's in here? Hello? Oh, Trilby. Wait. Shh. Shut up, phone. I'm gonna take this. I hope you don't mind. I'll add it to my journal. At this time, another came into the tree that was the prince's soul, and this other was of the faith, but blinded by pride, and so he was the prideful acolyte. Okay? Who are we talking about? And the prideful acolyte threw down the guide, and subjecting the guide to the blessed agony of the body. He called forth the pr Oh, this is referring to the end of Trilby's notes. Okay, alright. So, for those who haven't played that game yet, I recommend go either going and playing it or checking the playthrough I've done or somebody on YouTube. I don't know. But it kind of gives off kind of what happens between Seven Days of... Uh, well, this game... Between this game and Five Days of Stranger chronologically but and this is basically describing the end of the game so spoiler if you do understand what's going on here at least and you haven't played the game this is a spoiler for it and the prideful acolyte threw down the guide being Trilby and subjecting the guide to the blessed agony of the body he called forth the prince, and the prince crossed over to the land of technology. And the prince was much displeased, for the prideful acolyte would, in his arrogance, interfere with the destiny of the guide. And so he threw down the prideful acolyte, and the prideful acolyte became the puppet, and knew the name of the king. Okay, so after the events of Trilby's notes, apparently the guy who did that the prince killed. And with great fear did the guide take up the soul of the bridge keeper. Immune to its influence for the bridge keeper was also great immune to its influence for the bridge keeper was also greatly fearful, and he hid the soul of the bridge keeper away to a place where it would meet its final destiny. So if I'm hearing this right, what I'm getting off of it is that Trilby was resurrected in a manner and he sent the soul of the bridge keeper off to where Seven Days of Skeptic takes place. Which is, I guess, the end of the timeline. Okay. Anyway. And the prince and the puppet took their message to the Order of the Blessed Agonies. What is this? It wouldn't suit me. What is it? A hat. Oh. Oh, is that... Okay. Must be another one of Trilby's hats. Hey, Trilby. What's up? Yes? What is this place? No idea. But this is where I woke up. I've never seen technology like this. Hmm? What year is it? It's 2189. Oh, I can't remember what year it was last time I checked. I would guess 1989 or something like that. But I'm pretty sure I've lost a century or two somewhere along the line. Yeah? Yeah? Mm-hmm. Anything come back? Nothing from this room. But the more I think about the name John Defoe, it's like there's something scrabbling at the back of my mind. I feel I'm on the verge of rediscovering something terrible. Something that almost destroyed me. Listen, this complex is dangerous. I think there's something haunting us. It's already killed someone. We need to find out of we need to find a way out of here. And go where? All the answers I seek are here. 
I just have to find them. You could be killed. Death didn't stop me last time, apparently. If what you say is true, you're the one who should be worried. Could you help me open a door? Not right now. I wish to remain here until something... I remember something. How long will that take? How should I know? Okay. Oh, wait, what if I show you the book? I don't think you would want that. Can I show him, like, the manuscript or something? Why is that... I don't think so. What is... There's someone in there with skin as white as alas alabaster. I can't make out any features. I don't think they have any. Um... Okay, I don't... That was almost useless. Okay. Well, time to, uh... Wait. Is this something I could... Before, before entering there, I want to figure something out really quick. Go in the holding cell again. Well, not inside the cell itself, no thanks. But... You. Canning. I think I might have figured something out. Back again. Who is John Defoe? Ah, now we're getting somewhere. John Defoe is the bridge keeper. It is through him that the king will enter our world. Where is he? He's all around us. Then again, he's also drifting off somewhere in deep space. Give me a straight answer for God's sake. He did. There is no straight answer for your question. Why do you ask it anyway? Truby told me the name. It's just about the only thing he remembers. Mere words will not fully restore lost memory. A picture does a better job. What picture? I'll tell you what. If you can figure out by yourself what work Dr. Harty was doing for us, I'll help you. I think I already figured it out, actually. I figured out what Dr. Harty was doing. Do tell. Um... Well, technically, it's... It, aren't all these very similar things? What's the difference? I'm gonna go by the general easier term, cloner. I think she was a cloner. You had her creating multiple copies of Trilby. And when I thought I saw him come back to life, it was just a different clone. Congratulations! Now the more complex question. Why? What would we need clones of the particular individual for? Because he's the guide. I... I don't know. You don't know anything about the Defoe Manor incident? The Clan Bronwyn Hotel incident? Five days a stranger, Trilby's notes. No. Forget it then. Alright. You wanted to know what could jog his memory? Here's my advice. A newborn often reacts positively to an image of its mother. That's all you can give me? That's all I intend to give you. I'm not your personal advisor, boy. Can I talk to you about anything else? Back again? Where can I find a picture of Dr. Hottie? What am I? Her secretary? I don't know whether you noticed, but she was wearing one the whole time you knew her. Shut up now. Okay, so that must be it. Okay. Well, bye. Thanks for nothing, you good for nothing. Pitch... I... I... I was gonna say pitchfork, but I mean, what? <laughs> I still got this code I should probably do something with, but what? Oh, we've already hit 24 minutes. Okay, well, hmm. It won't... Why am I talking to a dead body? It should be on her, shouldn't it? I think the ID card she wore on her lab coat bore her picture. If I can just retrieve it. Damn. It isn't her. Where did it go? 
Uh, I don't know. That's a good question. Um, I have no idea. The only thing I can think of, Janine, maybe? Uh, Tr Trilly took it, yeah. Trilly took it, it's all Trilly. Who should I call? Janine. What? Do you have Dr. Hottie's ID card? I just wanted to remember her in some way. Don't judge me. I'm not judging you. Can I borrow it? I'm not coming out. Could you just open the door a second to pass it to me? No, anything could get in. Okay. Well, the only thing I can think of to do now is the code. I'm going to try to take care of this code really quick. Wait, why did, why, why did I go in there? Why did I go in there? Well, the only thing I can think of, yeah, is just the code. That's it. After that... Okay. Touch screen. Uh, what would the code be for, though? Um, wait. Restricted. Okay. Maybe 2741. Okay, that's... It's some kind of wide circular chamber, viewed from above. This must be the hub. Strange. From the look of it, there's nothing in it but the remains of some old ruined building. Um... Hmm. Hey, Janine. Wait, what am I doing? Phone. Phone. Who should I call? What? I've seen what's inside the hub. You have? Can you show me? No, but I could describe it. You have to let me see it. Just come out of there and come to the security room. No, find another way. Well, I can think of one other way. That won't help at all. Uh, can I just... Hold on, hold on, hold on. Actually... Download current, current image. Duh. Okay. Phone. Who should I call? Janine. What? You have? Can you show me? I've got the image on my phone. I'm sending it to you now. I see it. There's nothing to be afraid of, see? It's just some old ruin. Whatever killed Dr. Hottie is gone now. Yes, I see. It's funny, but when I see this, I don't feel so afraid. Like I'm seeing a place where, where I can find peace at last. Will you help me get there? Uh, sure, but you'll have to come out of the sleeping quarters. Fine. I'll wait for you outside the hub. We have to get in there. Well, that took long enough. Alright, well... <sighs> we'll meet her there next time, because I am going to leave this video here. It extended a bit longer than usual, but eh, who cares? <laughs> anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, push that like button in so far you can't see it anymore. If you really liked it, consider subscribing to the channel. If you missed anything else from the other three Chizo Mythos games that I've played, I'll have a link to one of them just right down over there. Or if you want to check out the playlist for this particular one, just click the box across from my head here. If you're, if you got any suggestions for any other uh, horror RPGs I could do, just let me know in the comments below. However, in the meantime, I'm out. I'll see you guys later. Bye.